What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review today. Um, really been excited about this review. Been wearing this fragrance for about a month now. Since I got it, it's just been an absolute hit for me. So um, it's from the house of Hubigant, and it is uh, Duc de Vivant L'Extreme. So got this box here. Um, came out in 1991. It was the second release, uh, kind of an EDP version of the original Duc de Vivant, which came out in 1985. And I have both. Um, I'm really going to center this review around this version, though, because this is the one that I actually prefer. So uh, I would classify this. I, I was reading online, and a lot of people said that it was a leather fragrance. I don't get that as much. I get it as more of an oak moss kind of fougere citrus aromatic scent. So as usual, what we'll do, we'll break down the box and bottle presentation, then we'll talk about the notes. I'll talk to you about its performance on my skin, how it works with me, and then I'll give it my overall thoughts um, and, of course, you know, its overall rating. So we'll jump into it. I'll take a look at both uh, versions of the bottle and the box as well, too, because I have the original one here um, along with a body wash that, it, you know, I ended up picking up as well, too. So funny story real quick. If any of you guys saw the video that I did, the review on uh, Ungaro Pulaum 3, where I probably, well, you know, without a, without a doubt, definitely got a, a bottle that had spoiled or, or turned and it smelled just like vinegar. I bought a gift set of this. Actually, it was the, it was the original one first online and it was the same thing it just smelled exactly the same so that definitely was what happened and then i you know returned that thankfully got my money back on both of those fragrances and i, I picked up these two individual ones because i was really excited just by the description so um let's take a look at the box first so pretty cool box you can see that here yeah nice green and gold so um Gold stripe going down the middle, a DV for Duc de Bravant and L'Extreme here. And, you know, got this gold wrap around that goes to the top. On the back of the box, you got some brand information. It is a 120 ml bottle, so it is four uh, ounces, which is nice. It is uh, eau de parfum concentration, so this is stronger. Green on the sides, nothing going on there. On that side and on the bottom, you do have your barcode and I believe your batch code, yes, at the top there. So. Uh, box is pretty, pretty, pretty clean. I like the box. Let's take a look at the bottle. Wow. This bottle right here. This stuff is absolutely incredible. Look at that bottle. How beautiful is that? You can see how the dent I put in it too. So this one for sure is a really cool presentation. So it is so classy. It looks very royal. I really like the green and gold. Um, it's just it's almost gaudy in a sense, but I like that about it. It's just kind of like makes a statement in terms of the way it looks. So on the front here, you got this green kind of frosted glass, but you can still see through it with the white initials DV and then this kind of wraparound thing that holds the bottle and that's gold. And on the top, on the cap, you can pick it up by the cap. It is, it, it is holds on pretty snug. Um, you have the initials there, DV again for Duke de Bravant. What a cool title for this fragrance too. Like, just imagine being out and someone asking you what you're wearing. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, it's Duc de Bavant. Throw the French accent on there. I mean, not many people are going to be able to say that unless they're into this fragrance. So um, we'll take the cap off. Gold atomizer. We'll take a look at the distribution. I'll waste one spray here. Really nice burst. And wow, you can really smell that. It's just very, very strong right off the bat. Uh, one thing I wish, I wish this wasn't plastic. It's, it's metal. Or excuse me, I wish it was metal. It's, it's, unfortunately, it's plastic. So I feel like that kind of takes away from it. Hubigant's a pretty niche and pretty you know high-end fragrance house. So I would imagine that they would put this in metal, but who knows? So um, retail-wise, L'Extrem is about $135, and the regular one is $100. So if we take a look at this, you can see the box here. You can see the differences between the two. The stripes are on the side. This has a little bit more of a logo on the front. On the back, same type of thing, and on the bottom too. Not, I don't want to take too much time up. But if you look at the bottles, they're virtually identical. In fact, they are identical. The only way you could tell them apart would be by looking at the sticker here. Again, this is an eau de toilette, and this is the eau de parfum. But anyway, enough about this one. Set that one aside. Notes. In the top, you have lemon, bergamot, and orange blossom. In the middle, you have lavender and spicy notes. And then in the base, you have, of course, the oak moss, which is extremely prominent. You have lavender again, and then you have amber. So out of those notes, I think immediately you get that citrus burst and then the lavender is in there, a subtle hint, but then it really just turns into a nice oak moss and just mossy, green, fresh, super clean scent. So performance on this fragrance is excellent for me. I get 
a beast mode, which I consider nine hours plus out, out of this scent. So um, I really, really enjoy it. It projects for three hours. It leaves an insane sillage trail. Uh, there's a massive scent bubble. Even at the second phase of the fragrance, I'm getting at least one, two, three, four feet you know, past me in terms of where I think people can smell it. Even at the end of the day, I'll have coworkers because I've worn it to work and I've worn it out um, that have said, hey, wow, I can really smell that. That's, that's strong, I, I like it. So it, it definitely is a great performer. The original one, not nearly as much, which is why I started to wear this one. The scent is similar. This is just a beefed up, beefed up version of the original one. The original one actually is much less. That's kind of mediocre at best in terms of performance, which was a little disappointing. I wanted that to be um, you know, above average and this one be even, even better, but at least this one came through. So I'll, I'll uh, give it a lot of credit on the performance. So excellent performance. My thoughts on this fragrance is it's just an amazingly green, soapy, fresh, clean scent. I love the oak moss. It's extremely masculine. I don't think it's dated at all. I think it, if you were to wear it, it's gonna set you apart. You could wear this to work. You could wear this to a business meeting. If you just want a little bit of more maturity, people are gonna think that this is a kind of, I think, a classier version of in the Dracar family. If you like Dracar Noir, you like Caesar's Man, you like Czar, you would love this scent. And you know I like those fragrances. In my list that I made recently about what are my favorite purchases for 2019, obviously this was on there. Um, so I'm happy to be able to do the individual review now. But I mentioned many scents that were in the Jakar family or had that DNA. And this is that one, but just a greener, mossy, just punch you in the face with oak moss. This one is awesome. I really, really like it. It's very gentlemanly. It's mature. Um, clean, soapy. It's just I can't, I can't use those phrases enough to describe it. I would absolutely, if you're into that type of style fragrance, pick this one up. You can probably find it in the gray market, you know, uh, one of the reputable gray market websites for, for less than what you can um, at, at retail. It is still in circulation. I was in an Eman Marcus and they had one in the Hubigon section, so it's absolutely still in circulation, which is great. It's not, I hope it's never discontinued. I love this scent. Do I know if this is a vintage one or not? No, I don't, uh, you know, of course, but performance wise, it, it doesn't matter. This one is, is excellent. So I think this is best worn in the daytime for sure. I think uh, seasonal, this is gonna be your winter, your fall, spring, cooler time. I wouldn't necessarily wear this in this really hot heat or dead middle of the summer. If you did, maybe one spray, but otherwise I'm thinking this scent, you're gonna have to give three, four sprays and you're set. You're set for easily, potentially, depending on how your skin complexion is, until the next day. I, like I said, I get nine hours out of this bad boy, so this is awesome. Um, again, if you like the Jacar Noir, you like Caesars, you like Czar, you like the green, fresh, clean soap scents, then this one is perfect for you. Um, Again, work I think is a great spot for this. This is casual setting. If you're going to a lounge or a bar, maybe you could wear that, like I mentioned, daytime. Wouldn't necessarily wear this on a date night. It's a maybe a little bit too uh, strong for that or you'd wanna wear something a little bit more sensual for a date as opposed to this, but this is an extremely masculine scent. Um, you know, I, I can't, I can't you know, praise it enough. I really, really enjoy it. But I think that this is definitely a semi-formal to casual fragrance. So um, presentation-wise, for the overall rating time, I'm going to give Duke Diva Von L'Extreme a 10 out of 10. I'm not going to ding it for the plastic cap. I've given cheaper, less cool bottles 10 out of 10s before. So I'm going to let that slide. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, the performance, 9 out of 10. I can't complain about anything about that. And the smell for me is a 10 out of 10. So I'm going to give this rating overall for Duke Diva Von Lugstrem, a 9.5 out of 10. This is an awesome scent. You guys absolutely have to check it out. Funny story, I took a picture. I take a lot of pictures on my Instagram of my fragrances and I posted a picture of this one and I tagged Hubigon Paris and a week later, they actually used my photo on their page and then gave me credit for it, which I thought was pretty cool because um, they were talking about how the city of Vervant, this fragrance was made to honor that city and uh, I thought that was awesome. So that was pretty cool. And I do have an Instagram, I post photos, you know, it's a personal page, it's not just fragrance, but I do post some pictures of, you know, the, the scents that I have that I really enjoy. But um, this one is, is, is great. I, I really am so happy to have it in my collection and look how much I've worn it too. I mean, that just says something about it because a lot of times, you know, when you, you have a lot of fragrances, you get get a couple new ones you want to wear them, but you kind of go back to the ones that you like the best. I kept reaching for this one, and I'm always going to. Um, so when this one is done, I'm absolutely going to pick up another bottle. This is great. I wish I could locate an aftershave for this. 
um, and an aftershave balm. I saw a couple online, but their prices were r ridiculous, and you don't really know what you're getting. And I've had a couple grenades that I've ordered recently, unfortunately for me, but they've all been rectified. So anyway, if you guys have any experience with this scent, the original one or the Extreme version, again, which is just an EDP as it states here in the sticker at the bottom of the fragrance, um, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the review. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.